What's up friends, fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and today we are doing something new. Uh, I'm going to do a weekend shopping series where I'm going to offer up some team lots for sale. And this is going to be a sealed bid process, so in order for you to bid on these cards, you need to send an email to my email up there, cardobvious at gmail.com. It'll keep scrolling on the top in case you happen to forget. You can always come back to the video and see my email right there, scrolling across the top. Okay, so how is this auction going to work? Well, I'm going to put up a team lot. And I'm going to set a minimum bid. So let's say I put up five cards and I say the minimum bid is a dollar. And you're interested in the lot. So what do you do? You email me. You say, hey, I'm interested in lot A or lot B or lot C or all of them. It's up to you. Uh, just send me the email. Tell me what lot you're interested in. Then what you need to do is tell me what your maximum bid for that lot is. So let's say I have a lot of five cards for a dollar. And you say, well, I want that lot, but I'm only willing to pay a dollar fifty for it. That's how it's done so what i'll do is after the end of three days so this will end on monday at midnight whoever sends me the email with the highest bid will win that lot but however if you say you want to pay say your highest bid for the lot is three dollars and you're the only one that bids on that lot you'll you'll get it for the minimum for the initial price because i'm not going to make you pay your max bid if you're the only one bidding so you'll get uh you'll get the bid or you'll get the lot for the the minimum bid if you're the only one that bids on it now if you bid way more than somebody else I will lower your price until it's only a dollar higher than the next highest bid so let's say I put a lot up and you say hey I'll take that lot for five bucks and the next highest bid given was two dollars I'll give it to you for three bucks yeah definitely throw out your highest number you're willing you're willing to pay and this is a sealed bid so you won't know what everybody else is bidding in case of a tie uh, what I will do is whoever sends me the first email. So if two people say I want that lot for three dollars and it's a tie, whoever sent me that first email, whoever's email I got first, uh, will win the lot. And yeah, so we're just gonna go along with that. If you have any questions about it, feel free to put the question down in the comments or send me an email at cardobvious@gmail.com, and I'll definitely get back to you. So today we are featuring the AL East. So I got five team lots. Uh, featuring the teams of the AL East. Plus, I have an extra bonus lot in there as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the Baltimore Orioles. Yes, the team at the bottom of the AL East. So we'll move from the bottom to the top, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So the first card is uh, Manny Machado Gypsy Queen Glove Stories from 2013 Gypsy Queen. This is an insert set from Gypsy Queen. Pretty cool. Love the design on these. Like You got the glove with the stitching along the sides. Pretty cool card there. It's card number one. Card number two is going to be Chant Cisco from 2018 Donruss Optic. This is the variation where it says Charm City down here at the bottom instead of Baltimore. So Chant Cisco rated rookie, Charm City variation. All right, card number three is a 1999 Bowman Jason Worth. A lot of you may not remember Jason Worth with the Orioles, but apparently he came up in the Orioles organization before making a name for himself with the Phillies and then later on the Nationals. Uh, Jason Worth there, 1999 Bowman Chrome. Uh, here we got a 2018 update Jonathan Villar, just a regular update base card there. And then we have a 2019 Topps Chrome Trey Mancini. 2019 Topps Chrome Trey Mancini, and that is the Orioles lot. And if you're interested in that lot, this will be lot A. Minimum bid, $1. Um, so make sure you send me your maximum bid for this lot. Uh, we'll be starting bids at $1. Okay, next up we have the Toronto Blue Jays. We'll be starting this off with a Bowman Platinum Vlad Guerrero Jr. Rookie card. This is the base variation card. As you can see, it's number 27. This isn't the top prospects card. This is the base short print variation card. Very nice Vlad Jr. Rookie card from Bowman Platinum. Card number two. It's going to be from 2018, Allen and Ginter, uh, Richard Urania. This is a short print, Richard Urania rookie card, 2018, Allen and Ginter. And then closing it out, we got a three card, 2019 Bowman lot with Marcus Stroman, a Danny Jansen rookie, and a Sean Reed Foley rookie. So three 2019 Bowman cards. And that is your 
Lot B, Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, the starting bid on this lot is going to be $3 just because of that Vlad uh, short print variation from Bowman Platinum. So $3 starting bid on Lot B. Okay, the third lot available this weekend is the Boston Red Sox. Coming in first is John Lester. This is from 2014 Heritage. This is a short print John Lester from 2014 Heritage. It's the first card of the lot. Next card, we got Legends in the Making. This is from 2018 Tops Legend Making Xander Bogarts, who is really beginning to form himself into a superstar in baseball. Xander Bogarts. Coming in third, we got J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez, Bowman Platinum. Then we have a Kyle Martin rookie card, 2018 Tops Update. And closing out the set, we got 2017 Allen and Ginter Rick Porcello. 2017 Allen and Ginter Rick Porcello. So that is Lot C. Lot C. And that is your Boston Red Sox. This lot will begin at $1. All right, for the fourth lot, we have the Tampa Bay Rays. The Tampa Bay Rays currently sitting in second place in the AL East. So first up, we have a Desmond Jennings. Desmond Jennings, rookie, autograph. Pretty cool card there. This is from 2011. 2011 Bowman Chrome. Desmond Jennings, on-card autograph. Next up, we have a 2019... Bowman rookie card of Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau having a really good start to his career down there. Of course, dealt with a few injuries this year. Kind of put him out for a little while. But was one of the leaders for uh, rookie of the year before Jordan Alvarez came along. Third card is an Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows Bowman Platinum. Next up, we have a Nick Siufo. Nick Siufo rookie card. From 2019 Tops. And closing it out, we got 2017 Allen and Ginter Blake Snell. 2017 Allen and Ginter Blake Snell. And there is your Tampa Bay Rays lot. This is lot D. Lot D. This one will start at $2 just because it's got an autograph in it. $2 starting bid on the Tampa Bay Rays lot. All right, for lot number five, lot E, we got the. Always hated Evil Empire New York Yankees. Starting out with this Panini Prism Rookie Rain of Masahiro Tanaka. Masahiro Tanaka Rookie Rain. This is from 2014 Panini Prism. Rookie Rain. Rookie card of Masahiro Tanaka. First card. Second card is Calling Cards Mark Teixeira. Mark Teixeira. This is from... 2013 tops calling card insert of Mark Teixeira. Pretty cool little design there on that card. Coming in number three. This is nice little uh, Bucky Dent card from 79. This card's pretty sharp. It's in pretty good condition. Does have a few little bit of a uh, standing on the side here, but it's not too bad. It's a pretty clean card. Uh, back's a little off cut. Front's not too bad. But 1979, Bucky Bleepin' Dent. Alright, we have another 2017 Allen and Ginter here. Masahiro Tanaka. And closing it out, just a base card of Starling Castro from Donruss 2017. 2017 Donruss Starling Castro. Starling Castro is on the Marlins, so it doesn't get much coverage, but the dude is still pumping out hits. Uh, just, just recently hit, what, 2,000 this year or 1,500, something like that. But either way, that is lot E, your New York Yankees. And this lot will start at $1. All right, and the last lot offered for the weekend is a bonus lot. This will be lot F. And it kind of features a mix of football and baseball, but it's another five-card lot. So let's start off with Greedy Williams. Greedy Williams, this is from 2019 Legacy. Greedy Williams' rookie card. Greedy Williams is now a starter for the Browns in their secondary, so they look for big things from him. 
Coming in next, 2015 Panini Contenders, School Colors, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman, also from LSU. Pretty cool little card there. Alex Bregman from 2015 in his LSU uniform. Okay, coming up next, we got 2015 Panini Draft Picks. Uh, collegiate draft picks. This is an OBJ Odell Beckham Jr. from 2015. This is not his rookie card. Uh, it's just kind of a throwback card showing him in his LSU uniform. But a 2015 draft picks Odell Beckham Jr. Pretty cool. Prism there. And then we have 2019 score Nick Brissett. 2019 score Nick Brissett rookie card. And if you haven't figured out the theme is LSU... <laughs> Well, now you know. Nick Brissett from 2019 score rookie card. And closing it out, we got another card from 2015 Panini Contenders. And it is Andrew Stevenson. Andrew Stevenson, also from LSU. Andrew Stevenson, school colors. So, pretty cool little LSU lot there. This LSU lot, lot F, will start off at $1. And I'll put a... Uh, Kind of a quick description of each of these lots in the uh, description below. So just in case you wonder uh, which one's lot A, lot B, etc. So I thank you all for watching. Remember, if you're interested in any of these cards, send me your max bid up here to cardobvious at gmail.com. And do not be afraid to ask any questions. Uh, thank you all. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll catch you all later.